Okay, this is this is one that has some vocabulary that might be difficult for people in the chat. So most people probably know elevator, but I would like to talk about both of them after I ask the question, and maybe that will give you some time to think, Janet, because this could be a this could be a, a hard question. Yes. Here. And I do need to give a shout out to somebody we both know, Miss English teacher. Mm -hmm. I stole this idea from her. She <laughs> likes to ask the would you rather questions on her Instagram. Yes. So I was like, that's a great idea. So I stole it from her. <laughs> well, and actually, in the Philippines, we call it fast talk. <laughs> what is it when you steal things from people? No, no. The oh. This kind of would you rather questions. So it's like... Um, you're going to answer fast. It's like broken ski lift or elevator or going to movies or dinner alone. So it's like you're going to answer fast like that. So it's all okay. that fast. It's a kind of game too. Okay. So in American English, we might have um, something called a rapid rapid fire round mm -hmm. where you, you can't even think. We can think about these questions today. But yeah, you can't think. You just... We'll take it a little slower today because okay. maybe if we speak too quickly, people won't understand us. All right, here we go. I got, let's see if I, this is the first, okay, right here. There you go. Ski lift. That's what a ski lift is. And I can imagine in the Philippines though, probably not a lot of ski lifts because it's so tropical. Yeah, there's no ski lift in the Philippines. Okay. I haven't even tried it here in Turkey. I've tried sledding but not ski lift yet. So I'm curious. Okay. So the problem with a ski lift a lot of times is it's really high up in the air. So if you are stuck up there and you are scared of heights, that could be a problem. And then the, the elevator thing. I do want to teach this new word to people in the chat. And in English, we say claustrophobic, or mm -hmm. if you have claustrophobia, scared of small spaces. So, Janet, what do you think? Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or would you rather be stuck in an elevator? Oh, this is a hard question. But I think I'd rather uh, be stuck on a broken ski lift. Okay, and, and why is that? <laughs> yeah, I think... I'm not claustrophobic, okay? But... Um, I'm not sure. I'm just not really comfortable being in a very enclosed space. So if it is a broken ski lift, at least um, I think I can get help easily. <laughs> but people would see me <laughs> that I'm stuck in there. So, yeah. That's a great point. That's a great point. I did not think of that. <laughs> but I am with you on this one. I would yeah. rather be stuck on a ski lift. Because unlike you, Janet, I am a little, I don't like small spaces. I am mm. a little claustrophobic, but I never thought like, at least if you're out on a ski lift, you yeah. can wave somebody down like, hey, we're stuck. Yeah. It's a great point. Great point. <laughs> and inside the elevator, it's not that easy to find, you know, signal, even if you have your phone. So it's not that easy to get help. 